What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, a.k.a. He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I want to talk about this album, Kanye West's latest album called Yeezus. First off, y'all already know who Kanye West is. I'm not going to go into all that bullshit. But um, this is going to be a really weird review and short one, too, because... Y'all already know I usually go off of some of the inserts that come inside the uh, the album. <clears throat> but this album is really weird. Kanye didn't put any inserts in it. He just put a little uh, bit of production credits and publishing credits on the back. You know, I, uh, the only type of uh, art you get is this orange type of sticker, perforated sticker. As you can see, I tried to take it off, but I saw it was perforated after the fact, so I left it on just to give it some form of originality or whatever. But um, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna get right into it. There, there were f a few features on here. Uh, Chief Keef, notably. Uh, unfortunately, I remember that one. <clears throat> Production-wise, this album, I believe Kanye stepped it up just uh, just a little bit once again. No matter what you say about Kanye West, you know, all the stupid shit he does outside of music, you know, all his outbursts and all that shit, you can't deny that this motherfucker recreates himself over and over and over again. He is the definition of an artist. And this album, Yeezus, proves it. As far as the production, which is very, very, very different, you know, it's, it's, I don't even know how to describe it. It's very trippy, uh, I, I guess, for lack of a better word. It's very trippy, the production, very strange, uh, tech, I, I don't want to say techno-y, even though there's a mix of that, there's a mix of electronic, mix of dubstep, mix of like grime, it's like really strange, and then he mixes even some soul sounds on this shit, like on the last track, Bound 2, that, that's like a very soulish track, but even on the first track, I forget what it's called, uh, he mixes a uh, soul like a soul sample into one of the, the, after the loop, he mixes a soul sample into it and goes back to the original uh, crazy, trippy loop. And uh, lyrically on the album, Kanye is still Kanye. I love the song, songs, New Slaves and uh, Black Skinheads. Definitely love the controversial uh topics of that tr those tracks especially new slaves how he's talking about how black people are still slaves until today uh, i just listened to it the ly lyrics are dope um uh, what else t -t 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 about this album oh there was another song forgive me i don't know the titles of it it's on my ipod i, I should have looked it up but um there's a song where he was being real graphic sexually and, you know, what he does to women or whatever, or fantasizes what he does to women. And uh, it, it just matches the primal sounds that you hear on that track and also the rest of the album. Um, uh, some of the cons, he, he didn't get away from autotune. He fucked with it twice on this album on two songs i believe it was track seven and eight or track six and seven i forget but i know they were like back to back y'all know i'm not a fan of that auto-tune bullshit another detriment is that fucking chief keef was on this bitch but i would kind of expect him to be since kanye sort of gave him the cosign the big cosign and i guess he's trying to keep him a little bit relevant even though i think uh he's he's about to get washed off. He's about to fall off. But um, yeah, that that's really, in a nutshell, what I have to say about this fucking album. 
in conclusion, what I have to say about this album, sort of what I said about Watch the Throne, I believe people are gonna look back at this album and start to bite off of the styles on this album, especially production-wise. People are gonna come back to this and use it as a blueprint to, to create some new shit, but it's gonna only sound like this. And uh, beats, especially the beats on here, very powerful. I know um, a lot of people that are into the extravagant Kanye or flamboyant Kanye probably won't fuck with this, but if you're into Kanye the artist, you'll definitely love this album. My rating of this album, I would give it like in between a seven to eight, maybe down the line, I, who knows how I feel. I want this to grow on me a little bit more, but for now, that's what I'll give it. I think it's worth a listen, pick it up. 10 fucking tracks on here, you can't really go wrong. And uh, that's it, I know a lot of y'all wanted to know my opinion on it, and that's it, all right? Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, support dope shit. That's it. Peace, bitches.